Hey guys, my name is Jason Hammer from Vitalis Extraction Technology. This here is the Vitalis Q90 extraction system. So what this is, it uses carbon dioxide, super critical carbon dioxide as an extraction solvent to extract cannabis oil, really. So let me give you a quick run through how it works. It all kind of starts here. All the CO2 is stored in these accumulators. We have two 100 liter accumulators that stores all the liquid carbon dioxide. We pump it as a liquid as well because there's a lot more solvent when it's in liquid form as it is when it would be a gas. This pump is designed to work continuously. It'll pump 15 liters per minute all the way into the first step here. And this is the heat exchanger. So this is the part where you set your temperature and uh, or not at all. Depending if you're doing a subcritical or supercritical run, you have higher temperatures for THC, CBD, things like this. Meanwhile, you have uh, lower temperatures for terpenes. After it's heated, the carbon dioxide makes its way to the extraction column. This extraction column is filled with your ground cannabis, about the uh, consistency of the coffee grounds. Enters through the bottom here, goes all the way up through the top, collecting cannabinoids, terpenes, and everything as it goes along. And this is pressurized pretty heavily. So if you're doing a supercritical run, Super critical, if you're not aware, is a stage between liquid and a gas. So gaseous CO2 at a higher temperature. Instead of having the gas, you can compress it down and it'll be half a gas, half a liquid. And that's what this whole system is designed on. Super critical goes through here, picks up cannabinoids, terpenes. Everything from this here makes its way to the cyclone separator. Needle valve will shoot it into a cyclonic path. And this is a low pressure environment. So this is normally the higher pressure environment. And when you go to a low pressure, all that semi-liquid, supercritical CO2 flashes to a gas. And everything that's dissolved in it drops down to the bottom. Cannabis oils, your THCs, THCA, CBD, everything ends at the bottom. And then you can just extract it out with the nozzle here. There's going to be a little bit that will make its way through. And so we have a secondary separator. Anytime you're having this amount of flow, this amount of pressure, you're going to have a little bit that's going to make it from the first to the second one. But this will grab about 85% of your cannabinoids. This will grab the extra 15% that you don't grab in the first one. After all the collection is done, all the CO2, which is now gaseous, passes through the filter. We filter out any remaining oils, waters, and then that circulates into the accumulators again, where it gets condensed right before, back down to a liquid, and all the CO2 is reused. How much does it weigh? Yeah. Each one of these extraction vessels is a thousand pounds. So this entire system weighs 5,300 pounds. We also have two sides to this as well, the A side and the B side. So you can have continuous operation. So this 45 liter vessel plus the other 45 liter vessel, this will be your A side. And while your A side is extracting, doing its thing, you're preparing your B-side. You're loading it with your material. You're cleaning it if it needs to be cleaned. This will take about a four hour to eight hour run time. Once that's done, turn the valve and all of a sudden you're extracting on the other side. So you're going 24 hours a day, never stops. Once you're on your B-side, then you can start cleaning at your A-side and refresh it for the next time. And you can run for 24 hours a day.